Hello and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin. Literally nothing happened today. It was a bit of a boring weekend, but now is the time when um, volatility should kick in. Well, not now necessarily, but um, sort of before the weekly candle close, normally we see a little bit of volatility come in. And um, however, from you know looking at the overall projection here on the chart, not much has happened. We continue to track our triangle. The triangle can take different shapes. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I'm not saying this is the only way to count the triangle that we have here on the chart, um, but we can talk about that in a minute. But overall, the idea is still that we are in this wave two correction. In yesterday's video, the last one I made yesterday, I showed you several um, possible counts um, for for Bitcoin, not just relating to the triangle, but also looking at a bearish, looking at a bullish case and so on. So for a bit more context, check out yesterday's video. I think it was like 16 minutes long or something. Um, can't do these videos all the time. So I, I you know, do them, however, every few days to talk a little bit about the different um, scenarios that are possible. Yeah, because it's not only one scenario that is possible. The market can do well, the market can do anything anyway. Um, but we take a look at what is probable. But typically, there's also more than one scenario that's probable. Okay, that's likely. Right, anyway, so the idea is still that we are here in this ABC correction in a wave two. Um, at the moment, the market is adhering to the triangle. Um, it's a really nicely shaped triangle. However, uh, it is still technically possible to come down in A wave here, done, yeah, but then move up in a higher B wave before we come down in wave C. Um, again, at the moment, price doesn't make any impression that it wants to break out straight away. I did highlight that in the last video, but still had a few questions about, okay, is there no possibility for the market to break out directly in a third wave rally? Yeah, sure. I mean, that possibility exists. It's just from a structural point of view, not very likely. Okay. Again, the market can do anything. It's always worth observing or no um, adopting an uncertainty mindset you need to understand that the market can do anything um, someone who's really explained that well is um, i think it's, he's called mark douglas uh, the book is um, trading in the zone i can only recommend that there are many more books about that we talk about that a lot in the channel membership but trading in the zone for anybody who wants to know a little bit more about mindset check out that book um, tells you why it's so important to adopt an uncertainty mindset yeah, in trading, in analyzing as well. Yeah, because the market really can do anything. I mean, they, you know, it is just, you just need one whale, yeah, manipulating the market and it suddenly takes off and, uh, and takes the unlikely path. Doesn't happen very often that the market takes the unlikely path, but it's also not so rare that we can ignore it. Okay, so um, of course, you know, anything is possible, but in my analysis, I don't get caught up in the possibles yeah i want to look at what's probable yeah um, otherwise we'd be sitting here for for five hours and talk about anything that bitcoin could do so please understand everything i tell you from a probabilistic point of view so if i tell you two scenarios they are the two that i find likely most likely while i record the video um of course that can change that view can change i always reserve the right to change my view it's very important Another important aspect about mindset is the ability to be flexible because the market is flexible as well. Yeah, it's a volatile and dynamic market. So we need to be able to change our view quickly when the market tells us so. Yeah, it's always the, the market is the boss and it's not me. The market is the boss, but we go with the trend. We go with the flow. Yeah, so very, very important. Um, what else? Yeah, triangle. Triangle wise, we're still in this triangle here in this wave two correction. Bear in mind, the overall trend is up. So a third wave rally ideally will follow. I don't expect, however, this path to the upside to be easy and straightforward. I think it will be a very, very rocky road because it could be, and that's just a different wave count, um, that the entire move up is a diagonal pattern. And if it's a diagonal instead of an impulse, how I'm counting it, then it will be an extremely rocky road. But it doesn't change anything in terms of the setback and correction pullback zones here at the moment yeah um but yeah looking at the triangle once more um again my view remains this is a triangle what i'm a little bit undecided about it uh, is is i'm a little bit undecided about whether um the triangle looks like that so a wave no um what do we have what do we have no a wave needs to sit here 
So A wave to the upside, B wave down, C wave up, D wave, E wave, and then we would break down now next. Yeah, and would take out the breakout point to the downside at 22 point, no, 27,211. Or if the triangle is going to extend. At the moment, if I had to give you my view, I would say we, we're going to see another extension of the triangle. Um, and that would just simply mean moving a few of the waves here because it's technically possible it can it can um, just extend yeah we talked about that in the previous video that where i have the d wave is actually the b wave and we do something like that absolutely possible yeah um, and then we could in this d wave yeah, come down a little lower another leg down maybe later today and then see a reaction in an e wave and then break down maybe around the time when we get the inflation data next week because that's coming up next week yeah that's just my update about um, bitcoin at the moment i hope you like the update if you did please hit the like button leave a comment and subscribe and if you really like the content then please check out the channel membership thanks a lot for watching bye bye